Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want to raise taxes. They want to bury our economy under a $2 trillion Green New Deal, which you were one of the original co-sponsors of in the United States Senate. Why is she shaking her head? The Green New Deal is still on their website. Senator Harris, as the vice president mentioned, you co-sponsored the Green New Deal in Congress. But Vice President Biden said in last week's debate that he does not support the Green New Deal. We both agree that we deal that we have a new Green Deal. But if you look at the Biden-Harris campaign website, it describes the Green New Deal as a crucial framework. What exactly would be the stance of a Biden-Harris administration toward the Green New Deal? The Green New Deal will pay for itself as we move forward. The Green New Deal is $100 trillion, that is not, not billion. That's the Green uh, well, is not my plan. The Green New Deal is not my plan. Joe Biden will not raise taxes. Joe Biden will not, raise taxes. Joe Biden will not end fracking. He has been very clear about that. Will you commit to implementing a federal ban on fracking your first day in office, adding the United States to the list of countries who have banned this devastating practice? There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. Sorry. These are the most flip-flopping politicians I've ever seen. They just say what they think you want to hear. We have to just acknowledge that the residual impact of fracking is enormous in terms of the impact on the health and safety of communities. Yeah, so thank you. So would you ban offshore drilling? Wow. Yes. And I've, again... Critics would suggest you're trying to have it both ways. That is, you want to tell the environmentalist wing of your party that you want to ban fracking, but you're telling workers here in Pennsylvania nothing to fear. I never told the environmentalists that I'm going to ban fracking, period. What about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yes. pipeline infrastructure yes. and, 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 exactly. and... you got to transition away from it. Look, you're going to ban fracking all across America right now, right? I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to, too. I'd love to make sure we don't can't use any oil or gas. All right, now let's go right into the next lie. On the one hand, you have Joe Biden, who was responsible with President Barack Obama for the Affordable Care Act which brought health care to over 20 million Americans and protected people with pre-existing conditions. And what it also did is it saved those families who otherwise were going bankrupt because of hospital bills they could not afford. On the other hand, you have Donald Trump, who's in court right now, trying to get Senator, rid of, thank you, Senator trying Harris. to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, which means that you will lose protections if you have pre-existing conditions. And I just, this is very important, Susan. Yes, and no. it's important. We need to get no, actually, it's not important. Which means it's that. false. But when I watch some of the news reports, which are so unfair, and they say we don't cover pre-existing conditions, we cover it beautifully. Although I'll tell you who doesn't cover pre-existing conditions, Obamacare. You know why? It's dead. If you have a pre-existing condition, heart disease, diabetes, breast cancer, they're coming for you. Here's Trump signing the bill to make sure people with pre-existing conditions are all right. Nothing but scare tactics and lies. They're coming for you. Senator Harris, thank you. You're welcome. Let me give you a chance to respond. Well, I hope we have a chance to talk about health care because Obamacare was a disaster. And the American people remember it well. And President Trump and I have a plan to improve health care and to protect pre-existing conditions for every American. But look, uh, Senator Harris, you're, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. You yourself said on Good multiple line. occasions when you were running for president that you would ban fracking. Joe Biden looked at a supporter in the eye and pointed and said, I guarantee, I guarantee that we will abolish fossil fuel. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to cooperate. We have a $2 trillion version of the Green New Deal, Susan, that your newspaper, USA Today, said really wasn't that very di different from the original Green New Deal. More taxes, more regulation, banning fracking, abolishing fossil fuel, crushing American energy, and economic surrender to China is a prescription for <laughs> economic decline. President Trump and I will keep... America growing. The V-shaped recovery that's underway right now will continue with four more years of President Donald Trump. In thank, thank you very, very much. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. So, so, first of all, I will repeat, and the American people know, that Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. That is a fact. No more, no new fracking. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? 
No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. There's plenty, plenty of money to go around. The first thing I would do as president was eliminate the president's tax cut. Joe Biden has said twice in the debate last week that he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. That was tax cuts that gave the average working family $2,000 in a tax break every single year. That Senator, is, that is that's the math. That is absolutely not true. What exactly is his tax cut plan? Uh, let's ask him. If you change the tax rate, it went from 38% to 21. If you just send it back to, 20, over to 38%, down if you... Oh, right. He's got no idea. Well, at least he's great with numbers. Well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth, for, a, a trillion four hundred billion worth, out of a billion four hundred million, excuse me, a trillion four hundred billion dollars. It's hard to even say it. It's so much. And by the way, it's cost a lot of money. It cost about seven hundred and forty million billion dollars over ten years. And they'd say to you, "Take my shotgun." I said, "I have three. I now have five because my son died." And I have three of his. I have five shotguns. So have a mechanism to control drug prices. Three tr for thirty trillion dollars. For a family's ice walks into a small Mississippi town. Come on, man. I was really kind of taken aback. I was genuinely shocked. Des Moines activist Ed Fallon says his brief conversation with Vice President Joe Biden happened Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Biden made a quick campaign stop at Urban Dreams in Des Moines. Fallon waited in line for a picture and wanted to confront Biden on his climate change proposals. Another member of Fallon's bold Iowa group recorded the cell phone video. I'm going to support you if you win the nomination because we got to get rid of Trump. It started off fine, but Biden quickly became agitated when Fallon didn't agree to support him in the caucuses. we got to stop building and replacing pipelines. You have to go vote for somebody else. All right, thanks so much, sir. Guys, we're going to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to vote you in the general if you treat me right. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> well can I have a, can I have a Look, you're, you're asking a picture of me. You're coming up and telling me you don't support me. No, no, My no. plan. Yeah, you did. You said you I said I will support you in the general. In the general. I'm looking right. for a primary. We're happy to get a member. That's okay. what I'm looking for, okay? Just because we're trying to get You believe that Bernie can do something and by 2030? I'm actually supporting Tom Steyer. The first surprise is that Biden told Fallon to vote for someone else. I did not expect to be told to leave, to go vote for somebody else, and then to be lectured about. And then he presses on Fallon's chest, pokes him with a finger, and finally grabs his jacket with two hands. It was not appropriate interaction for anybody. I mean, if I'd done that to him, the security would have been all over me. <laughs> Fallon is not asking for an apology from the Biden campaign, but he would take one. He's more concerned with finding the right candidate to fight climate change and beat President Trump. I don't think he can beat Trump. I really don't. And, and you have and you have actively telling people like me, don't vote for me, go vote for somebody else. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's not helpful at all. He You're said, done in this segment, he called Mr. the Vice, military Mr. Vice President, stupid bastards. I, I and did he not said it on tape. Wait, uh, he uh, said, Mr. stupid uh, bastards. Please, not sir, said it. stop. I would never I say would that. Play. Go ahead, Mr. You're Vice President. Just clap for that, you stupid bastards.